Breaking news. Tribunal nullifies Bielsa governorship election. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Yes, guys, we really do appreciate you. Thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel. You guys are simply the best. And we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. The one we've got today is quite a shocking one. Tribunal has nullified the Bielsa governorship election. We know that this has been ongoing since last year, since 2019, where David Lauren uh, was uh, just uh, barely some hours before his inauguration. Um, there was a ruling and um, someone else was inaugurated as the governor of the state and um, this has been a, with the courts right now uh, the court has um, taken their decision we'll get all of the details in a moment my people but before we do guys please if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet guys show us some love click on the like button give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well thank you once again yes we'll go straight into the news and get all of the details the Bielsa State's Gubernatorial Petition Tribunal has nullified election of Governor Dwoye Diri of Bielsa State. The election was nullified based on a petition by the Advanced Nigerian Democratic Party, ANDP, which argued that it was unlawfully excluded from participating in the election. The tribunal ruling can, however, still be challenged at the appeal court. The ANDP has, through its governorship candidate, King Lucky George and National Chairman Charles Ogboli, approached the tribunal seeking the nullification of the November 19, 2019 governorship election. The party demanded an order for fresh election on the grounds that its name and logo were excluded from the ballot papers used for the election. The council of the party, Kende Ogumije, San told the tribunal that INEC witnessed and monitored its governorship primary and that it was curious and un unacceptable that the electoral body later excluded it from the election. The counsel to INEC, Ibrahim Bawa San, told the tribunal that after examining the evidence tabled by the petitioners, the commission preferred not to call any witness. The lawyers for the PDP, Emmanuel Eniodem and Governor Zuri, Godi Uche San spoke along the same line, saying instead of calling witnesses, they would submit documents to the tribunal. The ANDP was registered as a political party on August 14, 2018, along with 23 other parties. However, it was deregistered on February 6, 2020, for failing to meet the guidelines stipulated by the Constitution, which expects parties to at least win a seat of the elections conducted, presidential, governorship, chairmanship, or councilship. The affected parties, including ANDP, are now in court challenging their deregistration. Monday's rulings come two days after the tribunal dismissed three other petitions against the election of Mr. Diri of the People's Democratic Party. Premium Times reported how the three-member tribunal dismissed the three petitions filed by separate parties on Saturday. The Bielsa State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal, sitting in Abuja on Saturday, dismissed three petitions against Dwoye Diri of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and affirmed him as the duly elected governor of the state. The petition dismissed by the tribunal were filed by the Alliance for Democracy AD, the United People's Congress, UPC, and the Liberation Movement. Premium Times also reported how the Supreme Court on February 13 sacked David Leon of the All Progressive Congress APC as the governor-elect barely 24 hours to his inauguration. The APS Court based its ruling on the premise that his deputy, Bio Barikuma Degi Eri Mioyo, presented false information to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in aid of his qualification for the November 16th governorship election in the state. The Apex Court then ordered INEC to declare the party with the highest number of lawful votes and geographical spread the winner of the election. Mr. Deary was later sworn in as governor. Meanwhile, Bielsa State Governor Senator Dwoye Deary 
has said he will appeal Monday's ruling of the state election petition tribunal sitting in Abuja and has consequently instructed his lawyers to file the necessary papers. Governor Diri, who spoke shortly after the tribunal, ruled that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, wrongfully excluded the advanced Nigerian Democratic Party, ANDP, governorship candidate from the November 16, 2019 election, said he has implicit confidence in the judiciary that he would triumph in the end. His words, we trust in the judiciary and we are appealing the judgment with God on our side. We will get justice. This is a court of first instance and I have instructed our lawyers to file an appeal. We have the right of appeal even up to the Supreme Court. The governor urged members of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and his supporters not to panic and to continue to remain calm and law-abiding. Yes, my people, it's getting really interesting. So PDP versus APC. Yeah, we know initially it wasn't Doye Diri that um, actually won the Bayelsa governorship election. It was the person of David Loin. But it was um, later uh, um, discovered that his deputy, his deputy was the person um, that uh, messed everything up. His deputy, it was, um, it was um, later discovered that his deputy had a um, certificate forgery. That was how he was disqualified. And Doye Diri was sworn in as the governor of the state but it looks like um the victory was over and um, everything has been won done said dusted and everything but um what happened was that um, the advanced nigerian democratic party did not let go they actually went to court for being excluded from the governorship race and we know as such um if a party is um, excluded it looks like the whole exercise um is is futile there's nothing really to uh about it so right now that's why the court has nullified the whole election. It's quite surprising. So, guys, who is the governor of Bayosa State right now? Because if the governor, um, if the court has nullified the election, it means that um, there is no governor for that state at the moment. And we all know that uh, it's been said that INEC, INEC claimed that they did a thorough job, that they actually monitored the election and ensured that every everything went well. But right now, um, the case before the, uh, before Bayosa State is that the election has been nullified. So, but um, so far, Doye Diri has spoken. He has given a statement shortly after the court um, passed it verdict on nullifying the the governorship election that he was going to appeal. And we know that's a standard process. You can actually appeal. So he said he's going to be taking it up. He's going to be taking it further, even up to the Supreme Court. We hope that. Uh, that um, the judiciary system will not fail us and that um, they will do the right thing. Anyway, my people, the news we are bringing before you, uh, you guys is a breaking news. Um, the, the court has actually nullified the Bayelsa governorship election. Do let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again with more updates, it's bye for now and God bless.